Hey, uh, hey, Rumi? You awake? Eh, sorry, sorry, I'll leave you be. Well, I kind of wanted to talk to you about something, uh, but it's no big deal. Uh, okay, uh, what do I want to talk about at three in the morning? Uh, I think you kind of know what kind of stuff I'm talking about. So, um, can I just sit here? Thanks. It's probably going to be a while. Or it might take 20 seconds. It kind of depends on what you think. Anyway, so, uh... Oh boy. Um, when I first moved in with you, I was petrified. This is the first time I've been on my own, and the thought of sharing the same space with someone else scared the hell out of me, especially since it was someone I didn't know, and yeah. Uh, you remember the first few weeks, how you'd never see me, and if you did, I, I looked scared and went back into my room immediately? Yeah, that's because I've got anxiety problems. I guess you probably already figured that out, though. But you've helped me with them. You've helped me so much. Once I got over the initial fear of sharing a space, you kept opening the door for me, asking if I wanted to go shopping with you, sit on the couch and watch a movie. You... I feel like you saw my withdrawal and saw that I was just really scared, and not that I didn't want to be around you. Because I really, really like being around you. You're so smart, creative, funny, pretty. Funny, I said funny. No, I, I didn't say anything else. Fine, I said something, but why do you want me to repeat it? You clearly know what I said. You wanted to see if I can blush any harder. Hey, did I mention you're mean? Because you're being really mean right now. Fine. You're really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Like, how do you even do that? I've seen you tired, sick, I've seen you after an all-nighter. And you always look amazing. It's... well, it's intimidating. Seeing you makes my heart jump. And it always has. Even after I stop being scared, I've always been a little nervous around you. A little jittery, fluttery. I didn't really know what it meant, at first. The warmth just felt like how a really good friendship should be. But over time, it... it got more intense. I couldn't help it. You make me feel content. Happy. Even when I had an absolutely awful day, I could get through it because I knew I'd be coming home to you. And that's when I knew that I didn't feel like you were just a friend to me. So, um... I... I like you. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. Like, in a my-heart-starts-pounding-when-I-see-you kind of way. You're really, really special to me, and I... I don't... <clears throat> huh? Um, okay. Well, what am I supposed to say? Oh, darling, now that we've confessed our feelings, we should get some scented candles and make love underneath the moonlight. <laughs> well, like, we're college students, so it'll be more like flashlights and a can of Febreze. Oh, <laughs> I'm making you swoon? Oh, baby, just wait till you hear what I have planned for dinner. I got the fancy dollar ramen. No 15-cent ramen for you. You only deserve the best. 
I know, I know, you don't need to say it. Certified A-grade girlfriend material here. Suave, smooth, sexy. More like shy, goofy, and adorable. I mean, it's not as good as my words, but you think I'm adorable? Yeah, I'm blushing. I'm... I just... I'm really happy. And I get to finally do this. Mm. Nope. You will never escape my snuggle grip. Resistance is futile. No, you won't be the big spoon. Hey, guess what? I love you. <laughs> She's like, I'm really anxious about sharing a space with somebody. And I'm like, yeah, same. That's why I never had roommates. But then again, I never got to be in a super cute roommates to lovers scenario. So risk versus reward, I guess.